Hi right, guys, welcome back to another Steam Free to Play review. Today we have or walkthrough. Today we have I haven't done a review in a hot minute. Today we have Dream Enders by my homie CA Withy. Alright, select your character. From what I remember, I didn't read the description again, but I know it's an RPG where you're like in a virtual world and my name is and uh or Fluff and uh boom. Yes, me. You wake up in a place you don't recognize. D. With no memory of how you got here, you find yourself in a small wooden bedroom. The decor, though sparse, looks comfortable enough. Looks like that of a room up from a small roadside end, or perhaps a dormitory of some wealthy institute. Oh. My time. The drawers are empty. The drawers are empty. See a sturdy wooden wardrobe. I forgot that if you walk into things, it actually does action too. I forgot. That's not kind of neat. See a soft cotton bed. Oh, soft cotton bed. Oh, uh, I opened the door. Several more rooms, like either side, line either side of the hall. To your left are the distant sounds of conversing and laughter. Your right stands a man with a scruffy brown hair, looking outwardly in his twenties. Hey, uh, Finally, I said to come check up on you. Oh, hey, since you're up, you want to go to the meeting room with us? Follow me. Hi, bro. Uh, I remember he's so crazy boy locked. Oh, wait, what'd that say? That was different from locked. You see a sturdy wooden door that's also apparently locked. You see a sturdy wooden door, which is also apparently locked. I feel like the Stanley Parable guy. One only says it's locked, the other ones are just like, I'm sturdy and I'm not opening, which seems very similar to locked. Stanley woke up and found out that all the doors in the hallway were locked. Stanley said, damn it. <laughs> the elaborate foyer is lined on either side by two grand staircases. You're right, the ticking of a grandfather clock next marks the passage of time. I'm gonna first with the clock. The time is 8 o'clock. Or 0 o'clock. Is that 0? It has an 8. It has to be 8. There is no 0. Kind of is. It's military time. You see a sturdy wooden door, which is locked. All these doors. These squares make a circle. You see a door to the bathroom. That's different. Yeah, it's always good to know your surroundings, kids. There's. Mine reads closed. What about that? This way. Nothing interesting enough. Do do do. Now we go this way. What's this way? See a story wooden door, which is locked. Stop, fam. Any before you, you approach two women, both looking the same age as your guide. One stands tall, her long black hair punctuated by strands of strands dyed purple down the front. She meets you with warmth and a smile. Across from her stands a shorter, stockier woman, her head shaved nearly bald, but for it, but for a strip of blonde hair down the middle. Opposite the warmth of the other, this woman bears a seemingly permanent scowl. She stands eyeing you and everyone around you crossly. Oh, cross-eyed girl. <laughs> I found him. Very good, Jacker, and thank you. I didn't realize he was ever lost. Ooh, I am, though. I'm so relieved to see that you're doing all right. You had us all worried when we found you out there in the wilderness. My name is Violet, and this is my friend Ambrose. Oh, I remember Ambrose. Yo. You've already had the pleasure of meeting our good friend Jack Aaron. Yay, that's me. Or is around here too somewhere. The important thing is that you're safe now. After finding you unconscious, my, you, my friend, I brought you here. The Applewood Manor. You've been sleeping in one of our guest rooms. Don't worry about the bedroom. We can keep using it and stay as long as you like. We have lots to spare. Oh, I saw them. There's tons of them. Everybody needs to stay somewhere safe. Needs somewhere safe to stay until we can go home again. After all, so you must have a lot of questions. What can we help you with? How did I get here? Violet and I carried you here from the wilderness. We found you out in the bushes outside of town. Ah, oh, like you just said. Ah. Oh. 
Okay, it was made mostly Ambrose who carried you. She's very strong. Be more careful out there. Could have been really hurt. Oh, of course. Do you have any other questions for me? What is this place? Applewood Manor. On behalf of the entire guild, welcome. In case you're not familiar, it's the guild hall here in Centralia. Right in the middle of the Enclave. Enclave. Enclave, Enclave. I'm sure you've passed by here a hundred times without even noticing. Oh, but don't worry. You don't have to a mem be a member to stay here. We are, we're open to anyone. It's our way of trying to help since the game broke. You're welcome. <laughs> Hee -he. Who are you? Why, I'm Violet, and this is Ambrose and Jacqueline, of course. And there's Aura and still inside the dining hall. Ambrose is a fighter. I'm more of a support, you could say. And Jacqueline, well, we're just happy to have him around. <laughs> we're just doing our best to help out around here until everyone can go home. It's no big secret, honest. you have any other questions? What am I supposed to be doing? Well, you're welcome to do whatever you like, of course. You could stick around here and join us for our meeting. Maybe we get, maybe get to know some of the other good people staying here. Or you could explore the town and make friends. I'm sure there's lots of other people eager to talk to you. If you feel like leaving the town again, do try to be careful, please. I don't want to see anything bad happen to you again. Do you have any other questions for me? I don't. Okay, feel free to walk around and talk to anyone you like. We're all friendly here, I promise. If you would like to attend our meetings, come talk to me again. Hi! I'm not sure if I want... You want to be talking to me. Violet is the face of the group. She's the one you're going to want to be talking to. But whatever, what do you want? What is this place? How did I get here? Eh? What do you mean? What is this place? It's Applewood Manor, you know. And... Centralia. Inside Dream Enders RPG, yes? You logged into this VR MMR, same as all the rest of us did. Ringing any bells? Man, you must have hit your head pretty hard or something. I all got here the same way. Pretty sure you did too. Weirdo. Huh. Why can't we leave this place? Yeah, that's a good question. I'm sure like... I'd sure like to know the answer to that one. Too. A lot of people would. This lady, I call her the Bitch Queen, shows up and says that if we log out, we die, which is bullshit. Definitely bullshit. When I have, when I logged into this game, I didn't sign up for having my brain fried to mush if I leave. Damien and his PVE guild think we're, we can all log out once again once we beat the final end boss. Hope he's up right. That's why I've been helping him out. If I am ever gone for a while, it's because I'm off to raid on a raid. I'll come back though. I have no intention of dying in this shithole place. Death flag. Death flag. Plus Violet needs me around to keep order here. What else do you need? Help carry me here? Yeah, so? I have unconscious people just laying around in the bushes. It would clutter up the place. Besides, Violet insisted. What else do you need? Tell me more about yourself. Uh, what? Look, I'm here to smash things until XP explodes out their ears. Then I go elsewhere and do it again. That's who I am, and that's all I am ever going to be in this place. I'm not here to make friends. I don't even want to be here at all. And don't get too chummy with me or anyone else, because the moment the game is fixed, you will never see me or any of my, those people again, ever again. You would do well to remember that. Goodbye. Peace out. Hi, person. It's so cool that I found you. Now I have someone to play with. Hey, wanna play, go play tag later, maybe? Front yard is real big and filled with trees and stuff. It's pretty cool. Oh, did you want to, oh, did you want to ask me something? Why do you keep saying you found me? Because I did find you. I found you outside your room. Oh, good job, dude. And then I found you again, standing in the hall right in front of me. I'm the best at finding things. What do you do around here? I beat up all the bad guys, yep. Big job, keeping the whole universe safe. It's a lot of work and stuff. They really need me around here, especially Ambrose. She's mean, I try to beat her up too. But she looks at me all mean-like and I run away. But I beat up all the other bad guys. Yep, all 120% of all bad guys. Except for Ambrose, which means you're somewhere below 100. 
100% of that. I'm 100% sure of that. Do you know how to leave? Out the front door, huh? Oh, this day. Hmm. Oh, huh? <laughs> oh! No, but we have to wait for the others to fix it before we leave. Or else our heads turn into jello. I hope it's not that achy green apple jello because that stuff is gross and weird. Did you know jello is made from hearse towards. hearse? horse? birds? Gross! No, I didn't know that. My big brother told me that. I miss my family. Oh, well. well. Tell me more about yourself. Well, I know this one. I'm Jackard. I'm a big, strong fighter person. Better not fight me. I'll beat you up nine times. That's just in the game, though. You'll never guess my name in real life. Is it Jack? Is it freaking Jack? You'll never guess. Never ever. And I'm not gonna tell you. No. You'll never guess. You'll never guess. And you're never going to find out. Huh? It's Jack. Oh, I remember that, I guess. <laughs> Also, I'm not supposed to tell you that my last name is Mills. Did he say that last time? Maybe he did. My mom says I'm... They, my mom say I'm not supposed to tell strangers, so I won't. Now that's enough questions. Okay, bye-bye! Oh, hello again. I hope you're doing well. You decide you want to attend our meeting and get to know everyone? Yeah, sure. Did I ask her if she's in charge here? Nah, I think I probably already did. That's wonderful to hear. I think you'll like everybody here as much as I do. Follow me, I'll introduce you to everyone. Well, well, good morning everyone. Thank you for attending our first meeting here. For those of you who are now welcome, who are new, welcome. We hope you find Applewood Manor to be comfortable, comfortable enough. Don't worry, the other guilds are working really hard to make sure everyone can go home very soon. Ambrose has been working with them to make sure that we can leave the game as soon as possible. We'll all be home soon enough, right Ambrose? Uh, sure. The important thing to know is that you're safe here. Aura promises me that no monsters can ever get in here, not even the Witch Queen. That is correct. See? No need to worry. Now, uh, maybe we can go around the room and say something about ourselves. As you probably already know, my name is Violet. I work at the tailoring shop here in town. And I live in Maui. Oh, I've never heard of that country before. Maui is an island, Deckard, in Hawaii. Really? How did they fit an entire country inside of Hawaii? Uh, Deckard, why don't you go next? Oh boy, my turn. My name is Jackie, but that's a secret. Don't tell any so, so don't tell anyone. And I'm a big strong fighter in this game. I'm super brave to beat up all the bad guys. I live in New York, and I like pizza. I go to a stupid rundown school, but that's it's okay because my friends are there. Oh, and I like jack carving jack-o'-lanterns with my dad. That's fun. You do know that Dream Enders MMO is made for ages 17 and up. How are you even here? Cause I'm like totally old and stuff, super old, that's me. Mr. Old Enough, I'm like 300 years old actually. That seems legit. Well you're a man in real life, and nobody says anything about that. <laughs> Jacker, you shut your damn mouth you little shit. Ambrose, calm down. Please, there are children present. You mean like him? So long as he keeps his goddamn mouth shut, I'll be fine. Okay, well, would you like to go next, Ambrose? Ass. Oh, uh, okay, how about you, Aura? Thank you, Violet. I would just like to say how honored I am to be help able to help her out around here. I am grateful to be able to give you all Applewood Manor as your temporary, temporary home. I do apologize for the inconvenience and hope that many of you will choose to stay once this technical glitch gets worked out. Who that? Uh, well, <laughs> I guess that concludes it for this first meeting. Don't any of you worry, we'll all be home soon. Everyone stay safe out there. We'll meet again in the next few days with more updates. Thanks, everyone. Ah, this is an update. This game is an update. Huh? You again. What do you want? Not what Jackron said to you earlier. Yeah, what about it? Doesn't matter what you actually are. 
Damn right it doesn't. Nice to know someone gets it. Geez, you happen to pick an avatar with boobs and suddenly everyone wants to stop bothering you. That's some bullshit. In real life, I could have five testicles and seven... Oh, whoa. And half vaginas. Geners. Gross. Too many things. I could be an evolved potato monster covered in squishy tentacles or a sentient eggplant bent on world domination. Doesn't matter here. Nothing matters here except for stabbing the other, stabbing the other guy before they can stab you. Appearances are cosmetic and thus pointless, because it doesn't mean anything. Nice to know that you, that not everyone here is either a horny nerd or a retarded ass face shit talking punk kid. <laughs> Got him. <laughs> he can hear you. Avoid being either of those things, and we'll get along just fine. What else do you need? Why didn't you want to share in the meeting? You may not have picked this up yet, but I'm not really hold into holding hands and singing songs. I realize the whole ordeal is to appease the newcomers, but I would rather be out there stabbing to death that bitch queen. Then we can all log out of this stupid night. Log out, and this stupid nightmare will end. So no, I don't feel the need to share my feelings. I would rather get the hell out of here and avoid the campfire songs. Thank you. Why don't you like Jaikern? Look, I don't know who you are, and I d you don't know who I am. So between the two of us, it's not really, really none of your goddamn business. I avoid him, he avoids me. It's along with just fine, which so long as he keeps his big trap shut. He considered doing the same. Hey, yo. Is there something I could do to help out around here? Take up a sword and murder every single monster you come across. Maybe one of them is the key to letting us leave. The PV Guild is scheduled to clear out the Goblin Tower later today. You could maybe help by joining us if you're a decent fighter. Otherwise, just hang tight and stay out of our way. We're going to slaughter every single damn critter in this game if it means we can finally log out again. Whichever you choose is up to you. We're good either way. What else do you need? Nothing. Peace. Who's this? Miss my family. I miss my family. I want my family back. He doesn't want to talk to whoever that guy is. Distraught. Oh, hello again. I know that first meeting wasn't very good. I'll try to do better next time. So, say, uh, Fluff Panda? I've been meaning to ask you something. This might sound weird, but I do work at a clothing store, so I know most of the different clothing items in the game. I've never seen a t-shirt t -shirt or blue jeans anywhere in this game. I'm special. I'd be curious to know how you got them, that is. If you remember, I have some customers who might like to buy some. Weird question, I know. I I'm sorry. Oh, did you want to ask me something? Why does a jacker think that Ambrose is a man? Oh, well, you see, Dreamander's MMO lets you choose anything you like for your character. I don't know if you knew this already, but you can change your, their gender, size, color, and appearance, all kinds of things. So it's possible for you to make a character who looks nothing like, like you. Pretty fun, don't you think? There's only a few things you can, can't change with your character. Age is one of them. The Jacker and God got son. You never really know who the person, who that person is you're talking to. Pretty exciting, don't you think? Why does Ambrose think Jack is too young to be here? Your character's age is one of the things you can't change. We, well, we all look like we're in our early 20s here. Which is okay for me. <laughs> I like my character's age. Someone like Aura might appear older, but that's only because of the hair color he selected. The game developers of Dream Enters MMO did that to prevent problems, since we're all supposed to be grown-ups here, in here anyway. Uh, there's supposed to be some kind of security measure to keep minors out of the game, but their parents can override it. So who knows, really? I think the mystery is fun. Did you want something else from me? How do I get back to where I came from? Oh, well, nobody's completely certain on how to get back home. Or do you mean after the game broke? I found you in the bushes just outside of town. I don't know what you were doing there. I'm sorry you don't seem to, seem to remember. Maybe you can walk around and find some clues. Maybe something around here can jog your memory. Sorry I can't be more helpful. I hope your memory comes back soon. You, what are you look like? Where are you from? Oh, um... I don't know what to say. I'm pretty boring in real life, honest. 
I basically look like my avatar, but not as pretty, of course, and just a bit, a little bit younger. And the purple streak in my hair? I added that here. Other than that, I don't know what else to add. But thank you for asking, that's sweet of you. That's it. Okay, come see me soon. Something, something, fireplace. I think that's a fireplace. Yeah, that piece. Love Jacker. Hey again, you found me. Cool meeting, right? <clears throat> I like the part where I told everyone I, uh, I like pizza. I don't remember that part. About what you said to Ambrose earlier. You mean how she's actually a boy? What about it? You were being very rude to her, him, whatever it is. Oh, I'm sorry. She's just mean to me, so she makes me angry sometimes. I know it shouldn't matter, and now you're starting to remind me of my mom. She sometimes yells at me like that. Now I'm sad again. I'm sorry. What's up, chicken butt? I'm like 90, 100,000 million years old. Yep, that's me. I'm way old. Why don't you like Ambrose? He's a big old meanie poopy butt. Only a boy could be that grumpy all the time. I mean, I like her, but she's not acting. When she's not acting mean, she acts kind of like my bigger brother, and he's a boy. Sometimes my brother picks on me. I don't know like when he picks on me. I wonder what he's doing right now. That's it. See you later, crocodile. After a while, I'll wait. I don't know. Catch you later, alligator. After a while, crocodile is how it's supposed to go, Jacker. There we go. Greetings, fair fluff panda. I trust the day finds you well. How may I be of service of you? Why do you sound so different from the others? Oh, do I? That must be my accent coming through. I was born and raised in Wales. Before I moved. I don't know what Wales sounds like. I think I had this dilemma last time. No idea. I believe the others are from various parts around the states. Good ear, you caught me. How did you afford this place? Oh, I have been playing this game for some time since its beta release. I have done most of its requests and seen all of its locations. I've been here since the beta too, fam. It really is a beautiful game. It is simply the most immersive experience on the planet. A fully three-dimensional world waiting here for you to explore. Oh, but I do go on a bit. I apologize. But as for the funds, you need to t worry about yourself. You need not worry yourself over that. It is all taken care of, I promise. Just focus on enjoying your time here. How long have you known the others? Not very long, actually. Ambrose has made quite a name for herself in the PvP and PvE guild. Violet and the others, though, I confess I only met them a few days ago. That's a glitch. I heard what they were doing to improve the player experience, and I volunteered to lead my aid. Their hearts are in the good place. We are all doing what we can to smooth over this unfortunate wrinkle. That's it, my dude. Be well, Fluff Panda. Ah, it's locked. Time to progress the story. Ha ha ha, and drink some soda because my voice is tired. Ah, oh, the door opened. Sick. I don't remember this room. Brown leather couches, messy bookshelves, and rows of chairs occupy the lounge area. A massive open hearth dominates the view to the right, accompanied by tall windows. I don't remember this room. Ah, it is quite the room. There's a couch and a huge hearth. Huge! The massive stone hearth stands cold and empty. And there's a bookshelf. Select a book to read. The Rambling Man and the Princess. Part 3. Is there a part 1? Did I miss part 1? No, it's all part 3. What about the back? And the back has nothing. Look at those trees outside. Wow. Okay, read the story. She was no ordinary beggar, or even a citizen, though she was in fact the princess of the entire city. Snuck out of the city to, in this, of the castle in disguise, she had happened upon the rambling man by chance, instantly captivated by his charm. The princess had taken a liking to sneaking amongst the common people as of late, to free herself of the burdens and responsibilities of a maiden within the royal court, who wanted to be as the commoners here. This Princess Jasmine from Aladdin! Free and able to do and say what they please without repercussion. 
Within the castle, her every movement was met watched, her every action monitored by a thousand eyes of the city, each of them just waiting. It seemed for her to blunder and make a disgrace out of the kingdom. A kind of unrelenting, ruthless burden was maddening, and she, only at night, sought solace amongst the very persons who during the day monitored her so unblinkingly. Interesting. Like, uh, there's another game, Squire's Tale, I think it was called, where you meet the princess outside. Yeah, that was a really good game. The Choose Your Own Adventure text game. You see two large iron-bound doors leading outside. You will open for me. Ha ha ha. The brick of Applewood's manners spread wide to either side. Before it stands an orchard, orchard of perfectly round apple trees. Around you, you hear the woodland songs of small birds and beasts. To the east stretches a dark, dirt track. Oh. What's up, apple tree? Got a problem, punk? Ah, yes, archery. The Applewoods training grounds, complete with straw targets and weapon racks. Beyond it, a lazy stream trickles out of the hedges around the manor. You see an empty weapon stand. You see an empty weapon stand. Would you like to practice archery? No. Ah, that's all that... All she wrote over here, I believe. Now we go south to the town. What's up, fam? Greetings, citizen. How may I be of service? What's your name? I'm sorry, citizen. I do not understand your query. Please restate your questions or contact the GM for assistance. Where am I? The city of Centralia, under the rule of His Majesty the King, built in the center of the Enclave. Who are you? I am the faithful servant and city guardsman, lurking under the rule of His Majesty the King. Why can't you answer any question outside your programming? I'm sorry, citizen. I do not understand your query. Please restate your question or contact the GM for assistance. Goodbye. Oh crap. Let go of me. Ah, uh, decisions. This way. What's up? There's a hole. No. There's a sign. Caution, bottomless, bottomless pit. Do not enter. I'm going in. Eventually. One day. The church. Ah, uh, what are you doing here, Guardsman Dave? You see you growled. Huh? What? Oh, sorry. I didn't see you come in. Did you, uh, want something? Who are you? Brawled? Is that all? Why are you dressed like, like a guard? Damien had us steal some of the outfits so we could slip past the city guards and access the gate controls. We were supposed to be working together to let everyone get out of here. That didn't help Tyranny, did it? Seems like no matter what we do, we'll all just in, end up just like my friend. What are you doing here? I was waiting on my friend to respawn, but... I guess what they're saying is true. They don't come back anymore, do they? Oh, that's sad. Sorry, Geralt. Geralt, Geralt nods his understanding before his gaze drifts off. His mind once again awash in his morose thoughts. Sorry, Geralt. That feels bad, man. Maybe your friend should have been better at the game. Freaking noob. <laughs> this is what happens when noobs go into a virtual world where death is a consequence. Straight up murked. That might, that would probably happen to me in a video game world. I'd just be that guy that just gets instantly freaking murked. What is this whale? I'm trapped here so long. When will we ever be able to log it out again? We'll find help at Applewood Manor. While we wait to leave, I don't know when we'll be able to log out again. It's... Oh no, don't do it. Do not. It's safe to log out now. They will literally kill themselves and it's awful. At Applewood Manor? Will they have some place for me to stay at least? Maybe something to eat? I'll go there and see. Better than waiting around here. Thanks for the help. Yeah, if you tell them to, like it's safe to go log out, they will dust themselves. It's real bad. <laughs> Not a nice thing to do. If you want to see that, you can watch my other Let's Play. I'm trying to do this the right way for now, because I don't know how far the update goes or anything. I want to make good decisions in case it goes further. Ah uh, yes, the library. Greetings, citizen. How may I be of service? 
What can I do at this library? You can read about creatures, history, stories, and lore of the Enclave. Please interact with any bookshelf to begin reading. See the librarian. I'd like a story to read. Ah, the first part one. Once, not so very long ago, there was one known as the Rambling Man, for he made his living by traveling the roads, stopped at, stopping at each city or village along his way to perform for coin. He brought with him only a lute, bringing out melodies gratefully within any caver tavern or shop he might encounter. He stayed for several days, pleasing the crowds and filling his pockets with their handouts. He would procure a room, sometimes for coin, sometimes in exchange for entertaining the bartender's patrons, and he would enjoy the finest fare the town could offer. The rambling man had earned quite himself, earned himself quite a reputation, so much so that once upon his first day of arrival, he would already have gathered himself quite an audience. As of and as famous he was as a performer, he was equally famous to be friendly with the ladies, always smiling, particularly bright brightly and passing a secretive wink to the maidens in the front row every time he played. And with his tall stature, pale complexion, and stark raven's hair blowing long behind, it seemed no fair maiden was beyond the spell of his lyrics, charm and composure upon the sage. The king's high, high mane and the settling of the enclave. Line of the fair and noble kings of the family Hymen, leader of the land and people of the Enclave, have ruled in peace for generations, claiming this land from the vile orcs and goblins. The armies of Hymen in, in ages past did cleanse this land, uh, this land of their evil and established the town, un, towns under his rule. By divine right of the almighty gods, the house of Hymen has maintained this land and kept at bay the monsters that threaten our very way of life. The goblins without leader were scattered amongst the hills and mountains. The goblins, the orcs, vile and cunning, were slaughtered by the hundreds of his right by, by the hundreds by his righteous arms. Towers were erected for the wisest magicians. Castles were constructed to house the mightiest warriors. The abundant resources of the land were harvested in his service to fuel the progress of the, his armies and his people. As such, peace and order was brought to the chaos of the enclave. Beasts of the land and sea were brought to bear under his will or chase far away. Such began the long-lived rule of our many kings over the endless generations to follow. A holy liberation of the land of the Enclave. Back before time itself, in an endless expanse of darkness and chaos, the Enclave was not, but a place of demonic strife and torment. The gods appeared from his, this void, and upon seeing the untapped, untapped potential of the land of the Enclave crafted warriors to purge the darkness and evils from this land. These mighty warriors rode uh, down the expanses of the world upon mighty seas, blazing with holy fire, bearing with them golden lances and obsidi obsidian shields. They rode to every corner, smiting evil and spreading the light of the gods in their wake. Soon no evil or unpure thing remained anywhere in the world. With the world cleansed, construction of new life could begin. The gods wrought seeds of every plant and husbanded each of every animal, tasking their warriors with populating the world with new light, life. One warrior rode across the vast desert, digging life-giving rivers as he went. One warrior rode atop the highest mountain and threw the new life as far as he could, seeding the mighty forest. One warrior rode to the bottom of the oceans and pushed up islands so that new life could give, could have room to grow, and one warrior rode into the sky. Well, that's awesome. I wish I could ride into the sky. That'd be sick. Lashed together a hundred bla blazing demons, pulling them around the enclave to serve as a sun. With the world finally ready for man, the gods created humans to populate the land under the rule of the holy line of Hymen. Man was charged... was... Man was charged with preserving good and holy life, spreading the will of the gods, and punishing any unholy or unclean thing that remained behind. To this day, under the will of the holy line of Hymen, the will of the gods is brought down against any impure monsters wherever they are found. The Arms of the King There was once a son... There once was a son of a farmer named Matthias of no renown or repute. 
who was found to possess an extraordinary talent with the sword. That's like uh, Matthias from Redwall. Or what was the first story from Redwall? I can't remember. I, I used to love those books though with the mice, the mice people. Upon the attack from a band of goblins, his son, this farmer's son, took up arms and defended his land along with the king's men. Discovering the man's talent, Matthias was recruited by King Hymane himself and given a place at his side as the king's swordsman. For many years to come, Matthias the swordsman served the king well, cutting down all of his enemies and bringing honor to his king and his gods. In his old age, after he had won many battles against the monsters of the land, Matthias put down the sword to bring up a generation of other swordsmen, teaching them and honing their skill. Though, through this farmer's son, an army was trained into the service of the king, fighting his many arms to spread across the world to expand his kingdom. Ever since, Matthias taught us that we can all work and contribute in the service of the king, and he would notice us and be grateful for our labors. All of them. We did it. Woo! We beat the bookshelf. Wow. I wonder if the other bookshelf has more stories. One bookshelf down. Oh god, I am not reading the monster guides, I don't believe. Unless they're short. Goblins are a beginner level monster, ideal for new players. They will always follow a more powerful monster as their leader, often in large groups. Goblins are not intelligent, but are fiercely loyal to their leader until the leader is killed. Then they will seek out a new strong monster as their leader. Outside of combat, goblins are obsessed with eating healthy and maintaining good oral health. That's good. Good job, goblins. Trolls. Trolls seek out and defend bridges. They will demand payment from players, which they need in order to eat. Either pay the, off the troll or kill it in order to pass. Cretans. Cretans are large, powerful creatures. They're dangerous and should be avoided at all costs. Cretans always travel alone. No mo other monster never, ever chooses to group with them. Plan plantains. Plantains are giant plants. They grow in the middle of the wilderness. They're notable for their large gaping mouths and bulbous shape. Despite their giant size, plantains are harmless to players and don't need to be killed. They only exist to feed on giant insects. All about orcs. Orcs are the worst of all monsters. They are ugly, mean, and constantly hostile, having not a single redeeming quality at all. They don't deserve life and should be always be killed on sight. That's kind of harsh. Poor orcs. That's how... That's how you kill people. Get people killed. <laughs> Let's go. Walk, 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 walk. What's over here? 30 wooden door, my nemesis. What's over here? A place. A tavern. A fan. Welcome to the Wandering Goat. How may I be of service? See the innkeeper. I have. Goodbye. We don't have really any choices with the innkeeper, apparently. Well, I didn't want to talk to you anyways. Empty. This place is empty. Boop 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 boop. I gotta add some background music to this video for the ambiance. The ambiance! YouTube audio library, baby! Ah yes, another person. They tell me in the game, the game is still broke and that I can't leave to see my family again. When can we go back home? You'll find help at Applewood Manor while we wait to leave. Well, I know I can't see my family right now, but it's okay to hang out with them for a while at Applewood? Okay, I guess I'll wait there with everybody else. Thanks for your help. No problem, man. Look at me not being a dick and getting people killed. Uh, same thing. Guards all say the same thing. Who you, guard? What's this message board got to say? Find various posts from players regarding equipment for sale or groups looking for more members. Oh, it's got to say, apparently. Ah, yes, the arms room with no items. Greetings, citizen. How may I be of service? What would you like to buy with your zero piece? Apparently, nothing. Dang it, NPC. Give me stuff for free. I am your hero. I am your savior. Give me stuff. I'm here to save you and everyone else. Look at that bird. So fast. Ah, the bridge. Keeping the gate shut isn't going to solve the problem, Damien. Not meant to solve the problem, Baxter. It's meant to save lives. Aren't the players here already trapped enough? You're going to trap them even more? 
they will keep the monsters out of the city. The problem, the players will be safe here until we end this game, and we can all, we can all leave again. You mean, when we end this game? That's when we all can log out again. That's when we can all log out again. Letting the PvP guild run around and killing players doesn't sound like any kind of solution to me. You should be working with us, taking down the in-game raid boss from my PvE guild. We don't run around killing ungilded players, you know that, and the Dream Enders MMO has always featured PvP in it as its endgame. That's co just common knowledge. Once only one guild is left in this game, the game will end and we can all wake up back home. Or we'll all be dead. Besides, I'm not telling any my guild to disband until after we've killed the last boss, the Dark Sentinel. I'm certainly not going to tell them to run around killing each other. That boss was only to put in to let players grind for better PvP gear. He is not how we beat this and get out of here. Well, until I hear until I hear a better plan that doesn't involve mass murdering, I'm doing it my way. If you helped us, we'd have beat him and we'd be out of here even sooner. I did it my way. Our guild isn't equipped for raids. Besides, we are help help helping by leaving your guild alone to keep breeding. Once you and I are the last two guilds in the game, however. We're going to have this whole discussion again. The guild will be ready for yours. Damn it, Damien. Quit making this hard on all of us. I want to go home. No do I, Baxter. But I'm telling you, killing or disbanding the other guilds is not the solution. PvE raids are. And I'm telling you, this game was built from the ground up to support a PvP endgame. That was the whole point of this place. For all our sakes, I hope you're wrong. No do I. I wish I was. We're going to raid the Goblin Tower tonight. We'll let you know if anything changes. Good luck, buddy. Hope you find what you're looking for. Dun, dun, dun. There's a guard over here. What's up, dude? Pretty citizen. Halt! This area is off limits. I can't pr permit you to pass. Alright, Baxter, or Damien, you come to ask about the gate, I've had my men keep it shut. I'm doing so and guarantee that none of the monsters can get into this city or to do anyone harm. You will be safe here, we're just about to go ready to go raid the Goblin Tower again. Soon we'll be one dungeon closer to the finish. In the meantime, is there anything I can help you with? Are you and Baxter really friends? Something like that, you could say. We've both been in this game longer than most anyone else, since it was in beta. Me too! Hard not to get... Not to game here for that long and not run into each other. But I run the dungeons while he spends his time in the player versus player arenas. We don't go out of our way to see each other, but yes. I believe we're something like friends by now. Do you, you really think beating the game will help? What, else, what choice do we have? The... Which queen wasn't very specific when she broke the game world? I'm choosing to believe that it will, because we have to believe in something. We have to keep believing and keep working towards something, or else we might end up like Baxter and his lot. Not to say that he doesn't believe in something too, but working together toward a common goal sounds a lot better than panicking and going crazy. How do we leave the city? Unless you want to face down a horde of monsters that may or may not be able to injure, kill you in real life, you can't. It's for your own protection. I've already seen too many good people lost, and I don't know if they're already de actually dead or not. I won't have any more lost, not until I know what's going on here. It's too risky. So stay here for your own good. Let us beat this game and fix everything. You don't need to do anything. How are you keeping the gate shut? The city guards keep every player out of restricted areas, but if you are disguising like one of them, you can fool them into thinking you're just another guard. I've had some players steal some guard uniforms to, to access to port policy controls. That's how we keep, the, keep it closed. Alright, goodbye. Take care of yourself. You'll stay here until when it's safe, you know what's good for you. Heck. Oh, there's destination things at the top. That's kind of cool.
What's up, homie? Would you like to go to the Amberwood place? The Witch Queen says if we log out, we will die in real life. Is it really true that we can never log out again? We will find help at the Applewood Manor while we wait to leave. Yes, I've heard of the Applewood. I was hoping to just wait until I could log out again. I guess I'm, sure, I'm sure my parents must miss me by now. But I suppose that does beat just sitting around here all day. I'll start heading over there. Thanks. I right, see, you, man. All right. What we got over here? I'm not talking to him. I've heard enough of you, city guard. I, man I managed to take some of the bread in hand before it despawned. You watch the Ambrose. He passes food to the bars to the prisoner beyond. I know it isn't much between the despawn timer and Jackern's fat ass. I can barely walk out of there with that any food at all. Thank you, Ambrose. No big deal. I know the food they give you in here is real sh shit. You know it's when you get out of here in a few days. You can always stay with us at Applewood Manor. I know the whole thing is a shitty situation, but better than nothing until it's safe to log out again. Keep hanging in there, and we'll all get out soon. I will. Thanks again. What's up, fam? Locked. Locked. I can't even talk to her. Oh, hey, Fluff Panda, what's up? Damien shut the gate, the city gate, locking everyone inside. What? That little shit? I'm sure as hell not going to get trapped in the shithole city. Come on, I'm going to rip him a new asshole. Sick. What the hell is your problem, asshole? Good morning to you, too, Ambrose. Open the gate now. You and I might be strong enough to go out there without getting killed, but not everyone else is. This is saving real lives by keeping players away from the monsters that want to kill them. Which is why Applewood Manor is here to keep them safe. Locking them in in a smaller cage after getting trapped in this game is, in the first place, is not the solution. Oh, you're starting to sound like Baxter. Do you want players to leave the city and get themselves killed? Screw Baxter and screw you two for making a decision like this on behalf of everybody without asking anyone for help first. Of course I don't want anyone to get killed, you sack of festering goat shit. But that doesn't give you the right to trap people in here like prisoners. We're taking them in, we're feeding and protecting them. We're training them up to be brave, brave the wilderness. And possibly help in this game, just like you. Only if they choose to. What we're doing is... What we're not doing is locking everyone in a room and sticking our heads up our asses waiting for who knows how long until you guys can, may or may not beat the game. Maybe they could even help you. Give it enough time. I'll not risk any more deaths or on my watch, Ambrose. They need to stay here where it's safe. That's not your call to make, dickhead. It's theirs. And we're all risking our lives by just being here. Babying them isn't helping. They deserve the chance to decide to think and act of and fight for themselves. That's what they meant. That's what they want. What about you? If you were in my place, what would you do? I agree with Ambrose. We should help without trapping them. And that they deserve the right to choose for themselves. But yes, helping them without sticking them inside just another, another cage just makes sense. Thank you for not being another dickhead. I didn't lock the, up the gate just because I wanted to, Ambrose. I did it to save lives. I know that, Damien. And while I realize we're trying, you're trying to help, making things worse. We have to worry them, about them deciding to log out on their own, not just focus on the monsters outside, taking away the hope of eventual escape by shutting a literal door, door in their face isn't helping. So long as ev give, we give everyone in here a place to stay a w and a warm meal, we can keep them hopeful and not disconnect yet, while also keeping them safe. Besides, monsters can't come into cities. Not that we've seen, anyway. Fine, arguing with you is like arguing with a brick wall. Anyway, as long as you assure me that everyone in the city is under your watch and that they'll stay safe, we'll keep the gate open. I have a raid on the Goblin Tower to get to soon, anyway. We're doing our best here, I promise. Now go kick those goblins' asses. We'll count on you guys. We're counting on you guys to get us home soon. We'll do our best. Thank you for all your help, Ambrose. Be safe out there. 
the heck is this person? Oh, it's Ambrose. I appreciate you standing by me against that asshole Damien. I know he's doing his best to help, but mass incarceration for their own good doesn't seem the best way to go about it. Hopefully you understand that too. Here, take this. It's not much, but it'll help you survive out there if you do go out. Ambrose pulls a dagger from her cloak and hands it over to you. Cloak and dagger. Careful out there. I don't want to have to drag your ass back to town again. Oh, sorry. Let's check the other places real quick. Let's actually... My bad. What's in here? Greetings, citizen. How may I be of service? Goodbye. That's all I got for you. Where Violet works, but she's not here for some reason. Welcome to the Satin School. Greetings, citizen. How may I be of service? I think I did something to trigger where she... Maybe because I opened the gate already? I don't know. I don't know where she's at, but I know that's where she works. My previous playthrough. Ah, oh, it's the castle itself. I don't know if I've ever been here. Halt! Oh, this area is off limits, citizens. I cannot permit you to pass. Screw you guys. I think there's someone else I wanted to talk to up here. But uh I think there's a crazy person in. Glad Ambrose is here to help us out. What's up, crazy man? Well met, citizen. Oh, he's not being crazy for some reason. Whatever. Alright. Let's go to the Goblin Tower. Actually, we can go to the Centralia Player Housing. Player House is available. Inquire at the bank for details. What? House is owned by the player Kappa. Hi. Right. Player House is available. Inquire at the bank for details. House is owned by player Skipparian. House is owned by the player Cynical Biscuit. This player house is available. Inquire at the bank at the da 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 da. House is owned by player Sturl F. Jimling Jr. How'd he get such a long name? Damn it. This house is owned by the player Annoying Dog. This house is owned by the player Lady Poquette. This house is owned by the player Noob Solves. Uh oh. Struggling to get to the. There should be. Okay. Ah, oh, it's a troll. What's up, man? Pay 50 piece across the. Well, you know, across the bridge. I'll stab him in a bit. I don't want to stab him right now. Let's go to the Goblin Tower, then we stab the troll. I think you have to take... Okay, yeah, you have to go one location at a time. Looming before you stands a stone squad structure known as the Goblin Tower. Just as it, it, it's, it, just at its entrance stands Damien, looking up at the double doors. Get me out here. There's still goblins running around, but I am here. What are you doing? Don't go in there. It's dangerous. Get back here. Uh, you're not my dad. They clear signs of battle littering the room as you enter. Broken crates and debris are scattered. Debris are scattered everywhere. Thick. If I remember correctly, there is a secret passage right here. Ha ah. ha! Through cracks in the wall, you see what looks like an army of goblins waiting in ambush just behind the battered doors. Ah ha! You thought you had me, but you didn't. Human, you must die. Wait! Don't kill me. Ah, stab him. Stab the creature with your dagger, killing it. Ha 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 ha. Still undefeated in esports. You die now, human. Stab him. Yeah. Standing before you are a pair of green skinned orcs, each standing just shorter than you, but carrying an air of authority and determination the goblins could not master. It's far enough, humans. Your raiding party has ventured far into this dungeon, but your adventure ends here. Goblins, almighty Throg, one king of the goblins, command you, come to me, defeat these sniveling humans. Uh, where are the rest of my goblins? You're dead, boss. You humans have killed even more of my goblins, this ends now. Actually, I'm the only one human. 
What? What do you mean, only one human? He's right, dog. He's only a single human. Single human making it all the way up here and alone, too? Impossible. No human could make it up here alone. I'm telling you, there's only one human here, Throg. Don't you argue with me. I'm not arguing with you, Oka. And I'm not saying that you're wrong. I'm just saying it's impossible that you're right. You ungrateful, her sir. Don't you start with me. Enough. Not in front of the human. I have to think. Human, how did you get up here on your own? I didn't sneak in here with you, you snuck in here with me. Aha! Now I know you're, that you're lying, because that makes literally no sense. Does it? No, I mean... How would that even... Because we, we were here first. This is our tower, right? We're still here. Because if I'm here, then and you're there. But that's just stupid, right? Or am I... Wait. Yes, you are stupid, but in this case, the human is also just trying to trick you. Aha! I knew it all along. I could have never fallen for such a stupid attempt at tricking me. Enough of this foolishness. Any last words before you end your existence, human? I'm here to steal your oh, queen and take her as my own. Your plan is a folly. Orca can't be won over and taken as some kind of prize. Now wait a minute. We should hear the human out. Ha! Huh. You see, she would never agree to. Wait. What? Human made it this far, he might be more powerful than we know. What if it's in our best interest to hear him out? You're being serious right now. Look at him, he's a scrawny little human. What could he do that's so scary? Hard to say, humans are a treacherous light, you never know with them. He might be a magic sorcerer, and that would turn us all into, some, into newts. This might be our only chance to save us all. Being turned into a newt might be an improvement for some of us. Ha ha ha. Uh oh. Human, I'm ready to begin my lifelong incarceration and suffer unspeakable evils at your every beck and call. You can't possibly be serious about this. Nothing a pu pathetic human could do to me would be worse than having to suffer e with you a moment longer, you brainless oaf. Now hang on just a second. What is so wrong with me that a stupid, smelly, loath loathsome human would be better than... Hang on, boss. Sounds like a human raiding party has just entered the lower le ra levels of the tower. Thank the gods, we're under attack. Goblins go kill things while we sort things out up here. Oh, they're leaving. Dang it, he stole my wife. No. Okay. Let's see how much farther. This is usually where the game kind of ends. Orca loves me. Ah, oh, my love interest, Orca. Damn it. Oh, she didn't seem to loathe me too much. How do I get out of this again? Escape key. Duh. Yay. Great success. Now I must stab the troll. An army of goblins were running out of here as we arrived. Why would they do that? We were only able to kill a few of them before they ran away. Where do all these goblins come from? What are you doing in here? It's not safe. Thank God we're st you're still alive. I'm glad we came in time to save you. I wasn't sure I would see you again. What were you doing in here anyway? You could have been killed. Go back to Centralia where it's safe. Stay there where it's safe until we clear out the next dungeon. What? I'm the hero. You don't tell me what to do. I tell you what to do. I right, see. Ah, oh, it's nighttime. Huh. I guess we go back to Applewood Manor. Sick. Yeah, this is. We finally got to where it's like new territory for the game. All the other stuff I've done before. Uh, let's go back to my room. Or maybe we can go into the hallway. Me, oh, everybody's in bed. Now my time to go to bed as well. 12 o'clock. Uh, which room is my room? This one? Yeah. Be a soft cotton bed. This is where you woke up from, but you don't recall. Oh wait, what the hell? Where did I go to sleep? What? Ha! Ah. Whoa, I actually went to the bathroom. That's sick, I guess. 
Okay, I don't know where to progress from here. It was all a trap. Uh, okay. Maybe we go to the end, or maybe I still I almost had the troll. If I can't find out where to go, that troll's gonna die. Probably. Or he's gonna kill me, one of the two. Where to go though? I guess I could go to the end. Hmm, Gerald's not there anymore. Yeah, I'm gonna go kill the troll. I got time for this. We're being lost. What's up, troll? Get ready to die. Dog has been defeated. Now let me pass. Or King Dog is defeated? I go meet him. See if this is true. I see, dog. Ah, great success. Arcadia. I have not been here before. Locked. Nice. Great progress. From one locked door to more locked doors. My favorite. Probably because it's nighttime, maybe. Oh man, it's a double headed orc. Or troll. Where is everybody gone? Stab the monster with your weapon. No. Uh, why do you care where everybody is? Everybody, no play if everybody gone. Run away from you, monster. They run away. Why everybody run away from me? I'm not gonna kill him. He doesn't seem like a bad guy yet, but I'll think about it. He might die soon. Dun dun. Okay. Uh, he might have to die. Uh. Everything is locked. The cave. What the hell's in here? Oh my god, I need a torch. Please. Yeah, I can't see shit. I'm not doing that. I need a... Oh, is it daytime now? Sick. Apparently, as you travel, the time actually does pass, so that's kind of cool, I guess. Maybe now I can go back to the city. Do things. Oh, dude's still here. I don't want to kill him, though. He doesn't seem like a bad person. But I might have to. Didn't help. So I guess I can go to Applewood Manor now that's daytime. Maybe somebody will be there, hopefully. If not, I guess I'll have to kill that orc dude, but I really don't want to. There is no one anywhere. God dang. Hmm. Yep, I gotta kill him. We go. Game's kind of like, ah, oh, I'm so confused. Do do. See if what's her face is over here. Nope. God damn. Everybody's gone. Oh, damn it. See if the PVE guild's still in here. No. Every oh my god. Everybody is literally gone. I guess we're killing that orc dude. Mm -mm. 
Sorry, Org Dude. Yes, we killed the Org Dude and then we wandered the cave. You launch an attack with the monster with its sheer size and strength that blocks you easily. You don't like that game. Okay, well damn. What the fuck? The drunken goat. Okay, I'm lost. I am so lost. Ah, the forest path. Sick. You enter a narrow forest path. This way is littered with giant plant monsters. Their bulbous mouths pointed upward, opening and closing around you. Oh, it's like the things from Mario Party. Sick. Use an action. Touch the plant. See, it feels firm, moist, and slightly sticky on your fingers. You can feel fiber flexes as it moves, similar to how humans' muscle move. Speak to the plant. It doesn't appear to understand you. Kill the plant. Destroy the creature, ripping its trunk and breaking against them until it stops moving. Nice. That was kind of fucked up, but we did it. Hooray. Well, you too, I guess. Kill them all. Yes. Massacre everything. That's how we get out of this game, maybe. Castle ruins. Crawling down into the wreckage of an ancient castle, you see a thin dungeon sprawling out before you. Pale tail footprints mar the thin layer of dust blackening the floor. Looks as though it's, its place has been ransacked. Treasure. This is empty. God damn it. Someone stole my treasure. All that work for nothing. Oh man, all the NPCs in the game were gone. Dead. Oh wow, even more treasure that somebody stole from me. There's footprints too. Hmm. I'm the treasure thief. Oh my god. Castle ruins suck. Lord almighty. Is there anywhere to go in here? Oop. Hmm. Dun, dun, dun. I am lost. What the fuck am I supposed to be doing right now? I mean, I can try to go through the cave, but I can't see, so... Uh-oh. Stuck on something. Man. Game is confusing the crap out of me right now. I don't know... where to go. Can't find people. Hmm. I'm gonna check all the buildings one more time, but if there's nothing here, I'm just gonna assume that's done. He doesn't have any text box of except the goodbye. Um. I could try to go into the castle. Turns off limits. Same message from all the damn guards still. Hmm. Matt Citizen. Yeah, I think that's about the end of it. It kind of ended at the same place though. I mean, there's more places to go afterwards, but there's it doesn't seem like there's anybody to talk to. Unless I'm missing something, but I don't know what I'm missing if I am. 
Let's see. Damn. Kind of upsetting. I'm sure I'm missing something. I'm sure I'm missing like some trigger that makes something happen, but I don't know what it is. in the bottom of spit. When we're looking at Applewood Manor, and if there's enough, if I don't see anybody in there, I'm just going to consider that the end of the game. For now. Oh, there's people that I saved. No monsters outside, isn't there? Well, at least there's some people here. I wonder what my family's doing back home. What do you think is going to happen to us now? Uh, you guys are very unhelpful. The Witch Queen Lightning has to leave yet. Thank you for telling me about this place. Nobody. Locked. Everybody in the place just disappeared except for the people I told to come here. Dakron's gone, Ambrose is gone, Violet's gone. Oh, bathroom. guys well thanks for watching as always there seemed to be like some other stuff added like books and it seemed like you could progress farther but it doesn't seem like there's like a quest or like any dialogue that leads to further into the game but thanks for watching as always guys and if you like the video please like and subscribe bye it's good to check out this game again too um but yeah see ya